effects scan. And in this video, I want to show you a simple way to look at timing. So we're going to separate timing into three categories. Your early interferences, which are at 15 to 25 percent. Your mid interferences, which are at about 50 percent. And your late interferences, which are at 75 percent or later. So let's take a look at the software. So the way to identify where you're at um, as far as early, mid, or late interferences is we're gonna look at that number next to force. So imagine 0% meaning that there's no tooth contact, 100% means that the teeth are fully together. To identify your early interferences, you're gonna look at the first 15 to 25%. So we have two ways that we can play through it. We can either use these buttons here to play it forwards or this button to play it backwards or we can use uh, the right and left arrows on the keyboards to play it forwards or play it backwards. As we're playing it forwards, we're going to watch the 3D view and look for any rising contacts that are occurring there. So let's start playing it forward. And you can see initially that everything's kind of rising pretty well together. And about 11%, we start seeing a rising force on number 15. Let's play it to about 15% to see what it looks like there. Um, and you can see that definitely that 15 has that first um, early interference that's showing up here. Now, if you're doing a collaboration, this is contact you might want to look at. And if you are doing a collaboration, you decide you want to do something about this contact, you're going to make your adjustments and then do a new recording and then go through the same process to, again, identify if you have any early interferences, if everything looks good there, then go to the mid interferences. So the purpose of this video, let's just keep going forward. Let's play it to about 25%. And you can see that even at 25%, that number 15 is still the biggest force that's occurring. So let's play it to the mid interference. Let's play it to 50%. Okay, again, remember, we're looking at that force number down below as well as watching the 3D view. And right now, we're at about 50%. And at 50%, you can see that number two is starting to come into more force overall on there. So you can see that number 15 still has the highest pinpoint contact or the high heel contact, but number two is starting to take over here. And even in the 2D view, you can see that number two has more overall percentage than number 15. So now let's play to maximum force. And that maximum force, again, we're, we're going to play to about 75% or later. So right now we're at about 75%. You can see at maximum force, number two definitely takes over and has the most overall force on number two at 30.2%. So again, if you were doing a polarization and you saw something in the early interferences or mid interferences, you would have stopped there, made your adjustments, and then done a new recording. So I hope this helps. This is a simple way to look at the T-scan with timing. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know.